Hey guys, welcome back to Wix Fix. I hope you're having a fantastic day. Now Wix recently released a new feature for gradients inside the editor. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to set them up and use them on your website. Let's go ahead and get started. So here we have a brand new website. The first thing I'm going to do is go ahead and just add a new strip. I'm gonna go to change background. And if we choose the color option, we can choose a solid color like normal, but you're also gonna notice these two other circles up here at the top. Right here is just a linear gradient like this. And then over here, this is called a fluid gradient inside the editor, but it's also referred to as a mesh gradient. For now, let's go ahead and stick with the linear gradient. But the cool thing is, is not only can you actually change the angle at which the gradient is displaying, but you can also come down here to this little red icon right here, this little red bubble right here. And we can also change the color to be whatever we want. And we can also change the opacity. Then if you wanted to change the other color, you can click the little bubble right there. You're gonna notice the color change right here. And then we can change this to be whatever we want. So if we wanted to go something a little more drastic, we can do that. And then we can also lower the opacity of it if we wanted to as well. But now let's go ahead and switch over to the other option, the fluid gradient. So if we select this, we're gonna notice that we can't really choose the angle anymore. And the bubbles are now gonna be right here. And now the bubbles that we saw in the fluid gradient down here are now gonna be on the display part preview right here. But the cool thing is, is we can actually grab these little bubbles and move them wherever we want inside the preview. And then with it selected, we can select the color, we can change the opacity, we can change the size, we can change the spread, and we can actually change a color behind the gradient. Now, if you wanted to add a color to the gradient, you can just select a random spot on the preview. You can move it wherever you want. Again, you can change the size and the spread. And then you can, of course, change the color as well. And if you decided you don't really like this option that you created, you can just come down to this delete option right here. Of course, you can do that for all these other ones as well. And if you feel like you're not very good at creating these fluid gradients, that is perfectly okay. Wix has created several different options for you to choose from, or at least good starting points to choose from. And you can just come in here and change the colors to whatever your brand colors are. But the cool thing about these gradients is you can create really custom backgrounds for your website. And if it goes with the rest of your branding or marketing to use gradients, then this is a fantastic tool to use on your website. Before we end the video, I do wanna note a few things. The first thing I want to note is if we come to site design and we go to page background and we choose color, we're gonna notice that we do not have an option to add gradients to the page background yet. I can definitely see Wix adding this feature in the future, but at this time it is not available. I also want to note, if we add a strip with a background image, we go into the settings for the strip and we try to choose the color, we can actually add a gradient right on top of the image. So if we lower the image opacity, we're going to see the gradient showing through. Of course, we probably want to change these colors to something a little bit better. and. If we wanted to, we could have the darker area come in a little later. We can actually change how soon the gradient comes in. So we're gonna do something like this. And I'm actually gonna make this one the dark one as well, but I'm gonna lower the opacity to zero. So that way we have this nice little dark green to transparent gradient behind it. And then what I'm gonna do is just align it to the left. And the cool thing about gradients is Sometimes on strips, it can be very hard to read the text if there is no gradient. For example, if I was to bring this image all the way up and let's say we wanted this text over here to the right, something like this, you know, this isn't the best image to do this with, but sometimes the text can be really hard to read. However, if we come to the gradient, and we lower the image opacity a little bit, it really helps the readability of the text on your strips. 
But that basically wraps it up for the video today, guys. If you guys did enjoy, please consider giving this video a like and consider subscribing for more Wix content coming out really soon. Thank you all again, and I'll see you all in the next one.